Okay, so we're going to have a look at powders and making a powder. So for this, uh, we're going to incorporate two powders together, riboflavin and starch. Good. Uh, the way I'm going to do it, there's a couple of different ways. The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to incorporate them together in a mortar and pestle. And the reason I do this is because it keeps it in a nice central location without falling off the slab, but it also helps you be able to break down any large parts of the powder and make it a much more consistent, even powder. Okay. Okay, so looking at these two powders, we've got the riboflavin, we've got the starch. Okay, we've accurately measured these and you've had them checked. So it's quite simple. Pour the powders into the mortar and pestle. Now the key with the mortar and pestle is not force, it's just rotating them together. Okay. If you press too hard, you'll create a, a caking effect. And what it means is you'll have large sheets of pressed powder. That's not what we want. So it's, it's no pressure in the pestle, you're letting the, the edges do the work. Now you can see here, there's two, you can see the yellow and the white powder that's not fully incorporated. Okay, so all you do is you just roll it around. Okay. It's not about doing it very fast because it's more likely to fly out of the mortar and pestle. But you can kind of see that most of it is incorporated and there's some occasional white spots. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're trying to rub those white spots down and break them up and incorporate them into that so it's an even consistent yellow powder. Now, one helpful thing is if you have a small spatula, sort of appropriate to the size of the mortar and pestle, and just run it around the edges. And that just means anything that's caked, you can kind of pick up and push back into the middle. Okay, I'm starting to notice there's occasional white spots that I'm bringing off the walls. Not too many, which means it's been going well. Okay. You can kind of see one or two there, hopefully. Okay. Okay, making sure we don't leave our clean equipment on a dirty bench. Just work it around nice and gently. It's almost incorporated. It only takes a few minutes, and it's mostly about patience and making sure you don't go too heavy or too fast with it. Okay, so hopefully you should be able to see there an even, consistent color and general powder size. Okay, the one disadvantage of incorporating powders in a mortar and pestle is you'll never be able to get all of it out. Okay, so there is benefits and, and disadvantages to doing it this way, but this way it keeps it nice and clean and consistent and it's much easier to see.